Good morrow, it's Wednesday, and I feel like my hair is giving Edna right now <laughs> from The Incredibles. But it's been that kind of day, it's been that kind of weekend. It's been that kind of year. I won't lie, this full moon has me all sorts of jacked up. But today, we have a sausage, onion, cheese, ah, oh my goodness, and pepper sandwich, some fries. I had to kill this bag because um, I'm going to Walmart tomorrow, so I'm going to be able to grab some new, some more new ones, you know. Like I said, it's been that. I've been a mess um, in so many ways. And some sweet basil pasta salad that's actually pretty good. I still like my bacon ranch, but oh, Lordy, Lordy. I don't know. Let me know how your weekend was, what shenanigans you got into. Or if you just hung out. I want me, mine to be way more enjoyable than it was, but. I've been struggling with my addictions again. And I need to figure it out. Like, yesterday. But, also, who remembers Mastiff Guy? I had to report him to the clubhouse again. Just because he was like, he's using the um, park behind, like in the back of the trailer park where it says no dogs allowed as his own personal dog park. And I know that's going to lead to someone also doing that or more people and it's going to make it dangerous. So I will happily be the neighborhood snitch. Yard again. Give me all them stitches. Fucking yum. But I did get to snuggle on weekend with my man. I swear, I'm so happy I'm forever off the market now. Grateful. How did I <laughs> how did I do that? Oh man. <laughs> I was just like, here, let's not put it in my face. This full moon has me all jacked up. Honestly, it's everyone jacked up. Just between recent events and... It's some 2016 energy, and I do not appreciate it at all. Let me know. Um, how, if you believe in the full moon, woo-woo stuff like I do, um, let me know how it's treating you, what you think of it. I hope someone out there is having a great fucking time. I'm not. But I certainly hope one of you is. I know, I know it's a strong one because I was playing earlier today. My last tarot card that I pulled out, I like, I don't read super regularly. What I like to do is pull one to two cards and set that as my intention for um, however long. Usually, Either around the first of the month or the full moon. Maybe sometimes the new moon, if I know when it is, slash want to do something different. So as I was putting my other card away, 
Um, my new card flew out. <laughs> I like to switch between my decks too. That way I can let one rest and then, you know. Get a fresh perspective, but I guess my HP Lovecraft deck wasn't done with me yet, so. <laughs> I have my intention, which is just moving forward. Um, you know, I basically was, what is it? Seven of Cups, I think. I can't read from all the way back. I need new glasses. <laughs> move forward and get myself some new eyeballs, right? But it's seven of cups reversed. Um, I believe. <laughs> oh, Lord. I believe that's from Sleeping Weird. So sometimes I sleep like this for some reason. <laughs> like I will be grasping one of my arms. Did I? I probably did. I just washed my hair too. Swear. <laughs> sure. No, just accept it. Move through the vibes as awful as they are. And try to grow from it. As like everything else in life. <sighs> I really wish they would put like a dog run in the park. There's enough room. There's a whole ass area nobody ever uses really. Or instead of having the boat RV area. I'm sure people use it, but it's so fucking massive. I'm like, not everyone in this goddamn trailer park has an RV. There could easily be a dog park. Or put it like... In the back, well, I don't know where they would park. I was going to say in the backpack, there's like a little kids park area. And then another big expanse of land, but that would make more, it would make more sense to put it down by the lake. That way, dickheads can have their fucking dogs off leash in the park. And not have to worry about, you know, children and shit. But yeah, I'm just trying to figure myself out. Cause like, I met with a therapist, and like it was all fine and stuff. I can't remember if I actually talked about it or not. Um, but basically, I would have to stop smoking weed, and I'm not ready to like give up everything yet. I'm definitely not ready to give up weed right now, which I know, like, most mental health people will have me do that. So, I'm, like, right now my focus is going to be getting off alcohol no matter what. Because I do not enjoy it anymore. It's causing too many problems. I'm starting to get a little bit worried about my health.
in theory, it's stupid because it's literally just a poison. Like, of course, it makes you feel loopy and sick. Not in theory. It is just a legal poison, and it's weird. And, like, it just, when you're intoxicated, way more so when you're stoned, like, I understand, like, the negative side to marijuana. Like, the bad reactions, the psychosis and stuff. My thing is, everything has a side effect. But I'm not going to black out on weed and, like, like that. Man that disappeared in uh, Spain, I think. A British one. And he was drunk after leaving a uh, party. Trying to go back to his Airbnb. I think I'm reading the story right. And he just walked off a cliff. Instead of like trying to find a ride or like waiting for the next bus in the morning, you know. I'm just so sad. A lot of awful stuff's happening. Poor Sonia. So glad that didn't turn out differently and that the fuckers hopefully going to be punished accordingly. Disgusting. Super glad, too, that someone was recording it and, like, the body cams were turned on. Because they were going to convince people that she did that to herself. No joke. And it's like, oh, gross. A cab forever. <laughs> it's, it's gross. like that and like <laughs> my personal stuff and just the vibes are just awful and like with my run-in with a mastiff dude because he was like he was just turning around taking his dog home when he didn't see me or leashing it and just creepily staring at me which that's the thing is it's like obviously I'm still gonna report someone if they're just letting their dog run around the park you know but, like, have the common decency when you see someone and their dog to leash them. He doesn't like to leash his dog at all. And that's just gross. And then, um, he was probably trying to, like, show off in front of Jack because Jack was with me. Because, like, I feel more comfortable when Jack's with me on walks because of the problem with dogs. But then I just turned around and gave him the middle finger. And kept walking and then immediately reported him to the clubhouse. <clears throat> So, Amy, <laughs> mm. I was, I was going to say something else. I lost it, and it's going to come back as soon as I turn off the camera. Oh, yeah. The Clubhouse also, their newsletter. I guess there's something about, like, putting your dogs on leashes and washing them and stuff. I have the time. I always have the time for shit like that.
Mm. But I'm so glad I could share a meal with you guys. I need to film. I just feel so much better when I do. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, chat me in the comments below. You know I love hearing from you. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great one. Bye.